Hey horse lovers! So today I'm gonna do my first ride on Mr. Olaf. So hope it goes well and that you enjoy watching. Thanks horse lovers! We got a pink face, I'm sunburn a little bit. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time to mount Mr. Olaf. And I just felt like mounting him from the ground was what was gonna be best. So that's what I did. I followed my gut, wanted to mount from the ground. And so far he's been wonderful. I swear I groomed him guys. It is just cold and muddy and he's a gray. And unfortunately it's too cold to bathe him today. So you gotta love Michigan weather. Okay, so I got on, asked him to move forward, and he kind of was like, okay, I don't know where we're going. So I'm just very gently just kind of letting him know, okay, we're going to move forward and just guiding him. He's like, no, I want to go that way where the grass is. But once I kind of gave him some direction, he was really good. And I feel pretty at ease on him. So I do have the bitless side pull on him as well. And we're going to see how that goes today. He seems pretty quiet. Like I said, I feel good on him. I feel like he's not gonna do anything rambunctious, especially at the walk. And he is responding. That was a nice stop. And now I'm gonna ask him to move forward with a little bit of light pressure from my calf. And he responded well. Okay, so we're gonna continue to walk around for a little bit, definitely get our warm up in get him nice and relaxed before we do any trotting. And I just wanna make sure he's understanding the steering components of the side pole under saddle. And he's doing really good. We're gonna do a nice circle here. And he's being a really sweet boy. So far, I think Olaf is gonna be a super good boy, but we'll have to see. Obviously, we're just walking now. Um, a lot will come out when we start trotting and if we get to canter, We'll even find out more about what he knows and what kind of horse he might be. But yeah, we're just going to continue our walking. We're going to do some circles, some bends. I really want to make sure that we have our steering components under control before we do anything else. And obviously our halting, which he's responded to very well each time. I really like his size. I Again, I have to stick them, but I think he's probably 14 hands 14 one right about there i think once he puts on some muscle like his weight is good he was a tiny bit thin when i got him nothing bad just could see a faint outline of the rib so he's put on the fat but now that we're going to be doing under saddle work and more exercises i think once he muscles up and that top line builds it's going to be amazing i think he's going to look awesome so i just feel very at peace when i'm on olaf I feel like he really does his best to take care of his rider. Like he's really trying. And, and that's what's the most important to me for the first ride. Everything else, all the fine tuning and performance work and all of that will come later. But the fact that he's willing and trusting and calm and quiet are huge indicators for me that he's gonna be a really amazing horse in whatever direction we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ask him for some trot and we're doing it we're doing it okay he's doing really good he's pretty comfortable he's a little head high but again these things come with time and of course like just getting them to relax into it that will might just resolve itself over time and exercise and proper muscling but yeah super fun just feeling so happy and so excited and a little bit relieved that now I've ridden all three ponies and I think they're all going to turn out to be super wonderful they already are and we have triumphed 
We have triumphed and we're all gonna be a wonderful team. Again, I just love the process of working through and building up to things and then seeing how we can fine tune and tweak them over time working together. So now I'm asking him to move into canner. So he picked up kind of a fast trot and then went into it. It's pretty good. And I'm gonna ask again, he's on the wrong lead. So the leg that's closest to the inside needs to be forward. And he did the same thing again. So as you can see, it's incorrect. So we're gonna try one more time and he got it. His canter is smooth, but it's kind of rocking. And again, I think once he gets in more better shape and builds some top line and muscle, that his gates will even be more comfortable and balanced. But that was so good. I'm so proud of him. Also, if you guys are liking these pony videos and my other videos, if you could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, now we're gonna switch directions and trot for a little bit this way. Yeah, so like I said, with his, his head highness, I think part of it is him, number one, being out of shape, not having tons of muscle. <clears throat> He's still relatively young between five and seven is what I told. So just gonna take some time, but I think once we can do some pull exercises and some other things, he'll just kind of naturally relax and develop that self carriage and natural collection. I do not tie heads down. I don't use gimmicks. So that's something that just isn't important to me. I think it needs to develop naturally in order to be true collection. So in my community post, now that you've seen all three ponies under saddle, I want you to go there and vote on which pony is your favorite. It will be really fun to see what pony is your favorite in general if you're new to the channel or if you were commenting on the post before about which was your favorite before you saw them under saddle, it'll be interesting to see if it's changed. So Olaf has definitely proven to be the magical snowman that he is. And he is just so adorable and loving and fun. And I just feel really safe on him, even just the first ride. I feel as though he's really thinking about what he's doing and he's really trying to tune in and connect with his rider. Okay, I'm now gonna ask for Cantor in this direction. So as you can see, because he's not quite in shape, he kind of goes into that fast trot, but then he picks it up and he's doing really well. I love him. Okay, he did really well, so I'm gonna cool him out and I think this is a great place to end our session today. Olaf is absolutely precious and my heart couldn't be more full. So next video is going to be of Cruella and I working through some of her speed issues. So if you are interested in that or you're really wanting to keep up with the ponies and meet some of the other horses too, if you could hit that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, horse lovers. Really hope you enjoyed the ride. Stay tuned.